Hello, I am Dr. Trey Dobson, Chief Medical Officer from Southwestern Vermont Medical Center. As reported earlier this week, the Manchester region in southern Vermont has experienced a COVID-19 outbreak. The number of cases reported has varied, but it does appear that there is a cluster of positive cases in and around Manchester. Southwestern Vermont Healthcare responded by creating drive-up testing this week for Manchester at Riley Rink and the site will remain open for as many days as necessary. Southwestern Vermont Healthcare could not have done this alone. Many individuals and businesses have been involved to make this happen. The Town of Manchester and its Town Manager, John O'Keefe, the Manchester Police Department, the Manchester Fire Department, and the staff at Riley Rink. We collected over 700 PCR test samples the first two days and anticipate collecting more over the next few weeks. I have worked at the collection site with my Southwestern Vermont healthcare colleagues and patients have asked so many great questions that I would like to discuss. First, what are the differences between the three types of COVID-19 tests? Polymerase chain reaction or PCR test amplifies and detects small pieces of the virus DNA to determine whether a person has an active infection. It is considered the most reliable and sensitive test and typically uses nasal or oral secretions. Results take several hours of processing time in a lab. Antigen tests are approved for emergency use by the FDA for screening larger populations in the effort to identify the rate of active infection. This test detects pieces of viral or bacterial proteins in an effort to identify active infection. Results are usually available within 30 minutes and also use nasal or oral secretions. The test is typically considered less reliable than a PCR due to high false negative rates, meaning a patient does have the illness, but the test is negative. Antigen testing for COVID-19 is likely to improve over time, becoming more reliable. Antibody tests, also known as serology, measure whether you have had an immune response to COVID-19 in the past. Results could indicate past infections. Testing requires a lab blood draw. It does not measure current infection. COVID-19 testing is covered by health insurance with no out-of-pocket cost to patients. If you do not have insurance, it will be covered by the federal government's Health Resources and Services Administration program. If you think you have been exposed, which means you have been closer than six feet for 15 minutes or more to someone who has tested positive, you should quarantine immediately. To quarantine means that you and your family members stay home and monitor yourselves for symptoms for 14 days. You should also contact your primary care provider to see if you should have a test. Alternatively, those who have had a single exposure can quarantine for seven days and get a test. Waiting seven days after exposure will increase the accuracy of the test because it takes your body some time to create a measurable load of the virus. Testing too early can lead to a false negative. If you have been exposed repeatedly over the last seven days or more, you can get tested right away. A referral or appointment is not needed for our pop-up testing site, but a referral and appointment is required for a test at our main campus in Bennington. Once you are tested, you should self-quarantine and remain in quarantine until your results are known. If your exposure is confirmed before you are tested, or after you test positive, you will hear from a contact tracer. The contact tracer will be interested in how you are doing and whether you are at risk of serious illness. The contact tracer will gather information to verify your identity so they can continue to monitor and support your family. Contact tracing is free. If someone claims to need payment information, they are not a contact tracer. If you test positive for COVID-19, you will need to isolate yourself from the community and others in your household for 10 days, including 72 hours after any fever has subsided without the use of fever-reducing medications. To isolate means that you should stay away from others in your household by staying in separate rooms most of the time. You should wear masks when in the same room or when passing in common areas. You should use a separate bathroom if possible. You should not eat together. Frequently wash your hands and sanitize surfaces. COVID-19 is extremely contagious. This virus is everywhere and impossible to completely avoid. 
According to a recent CDC survey, 54% of people do not know where they caught COVID-19 or from whom. That is why we should not stigmatize anyone that has the virus, and why it is so important that everyone practice smart prevention. This means everyone should practice social distancing by keeping six feet apart, wear a mask inside businesses and outside among crowds, frequently wash their hands, and stay home when you are sick. Practicing these behaviors protects you and others. If you do not, you are at risk for exposure or could be exposing the community. This is our social responsibility. The outbreak should serve as a reminder that we need to be supportive of each other and those individual, individuals that have the virus. It is a tense, upsetting, and stressful situation. Southwestern Vermont Healthcare is here for you and prepared to take care of our community. We have learned much over the past six months. I am confident saying our facilities are open, ready, and safe to provide the highest quality care for our community during the pandemic. Southwestern Vermont Healthcare has many resources on its website, svhealthcare.org, including detailed information about testing, frequently asked questions, COVID-19 information, and prevention tips. I know I have covered a lot of ground, but certainly have not answered everyone's questions. If you have questions or need to talk to someone, please call our SVMC COVID-19 hotline at 802-440-8844. Calls are answered by our clinical staff Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you, and together we will get through this.